Hi, my name's Martin from Printer Potty. What we're going to be doing in this video is showing you how to change the pads on this Epson XP55. This particular printer is a little bit different in the way that you disassemble the top part of the case. Um, there are many similarities with uh, other XP2 compatible printers, um, but we'll go through it now fairly quickly so you can see what those differences are and then get on with the process. In terms of tools, things you're going to need, a crosshead Phillips screwdriver. The other thing you're going to want, particularly if you're dealing with the pads, is a pair of gloves. Right, let's get started. As with many of the other models, you've got two screws positioned slightly different though. There's one here and one here. There's also a third underneath here, but we'll get to that in just a minute. So let's remove this one, first of all. find somewhere safe for that to go. And the other one is this one, just here. Third one is located here. Now to get to it, a couple of things. One, first and foremost, take out your paper tray and just put that to one side. Pop it in the back there and then drag your printer over to the edge like this and as you can see there is a screw just there and what we're going to do is just working from underneath like this we're just going to remove that one now okay so that one's out of the way we then put our printer back to remove this panel what you need to do is get fingers under here and just pull away slightly here and then the same here just lever up like that it'll pop free and then you can remove it like that pop it to one side the next two screws you want to remove are this one and this one uh, if you've seen some of our videos for the xp510 600 or whatever then you will recognize that this panel is identical and the screw position is exactly the same. You're then able to remove this little panel and just pop it to one side. You now remove this screw here. This is one of the two screws that secures and holds your pad holder. And then again, pulling the printer all the way over to the edge. The pad holder is this unit just here. It's located in the front right, just underneath this section here. And as you can see here, there is a screw that we need to remove. Okay. This screw is actually quite a short one. Okay, it's half the size of the other one. So just remember that when you come to put the screws back in. Now that we've removed the screw, there are two lugs located in the front, just here, that are holding the pad holder in. To release the pad holder, what you do is you stick your flathead screwdriver in like this. The lugs release and then the unit will drop down. Sometimes you just need to encourage it a little bit like that and it'll then drop out like that to show you all of your soiled pads inside the pad holder. Just push the printer back so you can actually see what's going on again. <coughs> now one thing I forgot to mention, you do actually need some kind of container to put your waste pads into um, when you take them out of the pad holder. So just remember to have one of those to hand um, so that you're not going to uh, end up with ink on carpets or tables and things like that, okay? So to remove the pads, what you do is use a screwdriver or your forceps or something along those lines and then just lift your pads out one by one or in blocks. Place them in your 
waste container, like so. And as you can see, these gloves are getting quite icky. Um, so I'm just gonna wipe some of that off. Just as a quick tip, if you are getting uh, ink all over your hands and you're not wiping it off, or sorry, over your hands or over your gloves, and you're not wiping it off, um, what tends to happen, and I often forget this when I'm doing the videos, but it, what tends to happen is you transfer that ink to the surfaces on here, like this, um, and then you end up staining your um, printer, which when the XP55, given that it's white, it tends to be a little bit more visible. Okay, so wipe your gloves or we'll give them a quick wash under a tap or something like that um, while you're working so that you're not then transferring the ink onto the surface of your printer. Anyway, now that we've done that, we've now got our pad holder and it's empty. It's got a little bit of ink in it. And now you can wash that out if you want, but I generally advise that all you do is get a rag like this and then just wipe around the inside to mop up the excess so that you've got the worst of it out, plonk that in your waste container, and there you go. It doesn't need to be pristine, it doesn't need to be completely dry, um, it isn't gonna affect anything, okay? Next thing you do is get your set of pads from your kit, and you build up your block like this, so that you can then replace the pads in the pad holder. In case you're not sure how to build your block um, of replacement pads, you can see in this video here how to do that. I'm not gonna repeat it here because it's a bit redundant, but it's relatively simple to do and the instructions are included with the actual uh, pad kit. Anyway, we put our pad set together, we put the uh, spacers or the extra ones in as needed. And we're now going to put these into our pad holder like this and then just plonk them in. And then we're just gonna reverse the process to put the pad holder back in. So again, bring the printer over to the side and then slide the pad holder in like that. Make sure that we hear it go click so that these two retaining lugs at the front here have locked into position. And then we get our short screw, our shorter screw to screw in at the back here. Then we go hunting for it because we dropped it on the floor. <laughs> so yeah, just bear in mind when you're putting this in. So it goes in the centre hole there at the back. Push everything up and screw it in like that. Okay, so that's everything underneath. Then we push the printer back onto the table like so. And put a screw into the front. Okay, then it's time to replace our panel here. And again, the best way for this to go in, I've shown this multiple times in other videos, but if you angle it upwards towards the top layer and then slide it on, it goes on a lot quicker and a lot easier. Then we've got two screws to replace. So there's one just here. Another one just there. Put the panel back on, put it on at the top part first, and then just push down on the bottom like that, took everything in. We'll do the top two screws first. So there's that one there. And the other one over here. And the last screw that needs to go in is this one. And again, it's a case of bring it over to the edge. There's a hole, just that. Let me go underneath. Find the hole. And then just screw that screw in. Like so. And that's pretty much it. You just need to replace the paper tray into there. And the physical replacement of the pads is now done. 
it's at this point you now need to reset the waste ink counter and to do that again see one of our videos up here there's a whole playlist depending on your particular operating system but that'll help you reset the waste counter clear the waste ink related error and you can go back to printing if you're interested in the process for actually fitting an external waste tank which is actually pretty easy on this particular model then please check out our video here if you're interested in uh, more information on how you reset the waste counter then that information is available in this video down here um, and if you'd like to subscribe to our channel for any more of these kind of videos then please click here thanks for watching take care bye bye